everybody. Happy Monday. I'm really up, obviously up for boot camp. Feeling a bit tired this morning. Usually I kind of like, I'm awake before my alarm. But this morning I was, I was pretty sounding and actually it, it really shocked me. <laughs> you know, when you get the alarm and it's like, Whoo! like literally that's how I felt this morning. So, um, yeah, never mind. Um, it is half past five. I am gonna do the usual. I've got a boot camp, and a few people have asked me what a boot camp is. So basically, I run a class early in the morning, six till six forty-five, three times a week. At the moment, I only do three times a week in my studio. Through the summer, like last year, when I first sort of started, um, I originally do it outside in a field. Um, and we do it five mornings a week. So um, yeah, once it gets a bit drier, once it gets a bit lighter, we can start going outside and it will just, it's way more fun outside. So yeah, this is just my studio and what I'm working with at the moment. But um, yeah, obviously back for another weekly vlog. I really hope you enjoyed last week's. Um, I, yesterday when I posted that video, I honestly, like was so like, I can't keep up with all the comments and on Instagram and YouTube actually. Like I just, like wow, well, I was really overwhelmed by how many people was just so excited that obviously if you haven't seen it, we are having another baby. Um, and yeah, just like wow, it's just amazing. I was so kind of like shocked by all the support and everyone's so excited. Um, Honestly, I probably received over 400 comments on um, Instagram. Like, I couldn't, I, well, I've tried to go through as, ma well, as many as I can. I will go through them again today. I try and reply, obviously, as much as I can or just, like, like them or whatever. Um, same with YouTube. Like, I just had, to, like, hundreds of comments. So, um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so pleased you're so excited. Um, you know, I'm so happy that... Um, you know, nobody knew. Everyone, pretty much, I'd say 90% of the people that um, watch my channel had no clue I was pregnant. So, yeah, I think that's kind of what it's been like in real life. I've told people and, like, friends and stuff that I've seen, I see every day, and they've had no clue. So, I think I hid it well, which is quite cool. Um, even being poorly as well, I've hid it well. But, um... I think when you're like a migraine sufferer and stuff like that, you can kind of get away with that because I'm so used to being ill at certain points of the month or whatever that I think people just kind of just go, oh, just another migraine or whatever. Um, but anyway, I need to put my hair up. I'm going to write on my board my little plan for today and then I want to do a quick workout as well just to kind of start me out. Morning again. Just had a shower, it's just after seven. Just trying to get Violet up. She's asleep still. Skin's not looking that great. Although I'm still using that. I've been using the um, Carbon Therapy charcoal soap every day, literally morning and night since last Monday. And um, well, yeah, I definitely think my skin has improved. I don't feel like it's as red. I've had a couple of fresh new breakouts. Um, but I think it's just down to hormones still. But um, yeah, I'm loving it actually. It's really nice. Clean up done. Um, it is 25 past seven. The kids are just chilling out in the lounge. I'm gonna let them just like prompt them in about 10 minutes to sort themselves out. Um, nice dry week. I'm really happy about that. Uh, no sign of like crazy winds as well. So yeah, it's gonna be a good one just to have some mild weather as well and not have it like really, really windy. Um, yeah, so today's my day off. I've got, I'm booked in to have my nails done from the one of the mums after school. So I'm gonna get that done. God, they are so long. That's one thing I've noticed. My hair's been growing like crazy. My nails, like in two weeks, they're like talons. Um, I need to do a food shop today. I've got my list here. Um, I need to go to the charity shop, drop off a few things. I'm going to show you the office actually because I've been busy bee over the weekend since getting my energy back and we pretty much had two home days um, and 
yeah, the office is starting to kind of look like a space and not just a cluttered mess, which is good. Um, it's still got loads of painting stuff in. We we'll probably need to like put a fresh coat of paint round. But yeah, I need to do a food shop today and nails done. Oh, I need to phone the doctor as well. Two little monkeys are here, chilling out. Oh, the thought of getting ready for the day. Although I didn't do any ironing this week either. I need to um, I need to do that at some point. Thankfully, they've already got some stuff done from last week. How the office is looking. I mean, before it was really cluttered and we've got a lot of few, well, quite a few things up in the loft. I don't know what to do these mirrors. I've got two really nice mirrors and I just don't, I'm not sure where to put them. Um, I'm gonna find somewhere around the house, kind of sorted out this area. But yeah, we're getting there. I need to tackle this over here, this. But it's much better than what it was anyway, because it was awful before. I need to decide what to wear. I feel like this morning, like usually in the mornings I don't really have a little belly or anything, but I don't know why. This morning I feel like I've just officially had the little pop, you know, where you just, uh, yeah. So I, I have no idea what I'm going to wear. I did wear the jeggings on a Saturday night though, the ones that I got in a bigger size, which I showed you. And they were really good, apart from till after after we had loads of pizza and I was just so bloated and really uncomfortable. I needed to whip them off as like ASAP, but for the most part, they were pretty good. Oh, what do I wear? It's only a blooming shopping day, isn't it? It's not anything exciting. I can show you the little pop. These are the tens. Oh, these feel tighter than the, um, the navy ones, which is kind of annoying. I kind of had to like squeeze them up against the hips. And so I've suddenly just had a growth spurt in two days. But yeah, my little, my little poof. See the belly button, that's when you can tell. That's going all weird. This is my outfit. This is basically a tunic. I probably should, could have put leggings underneath, but this is a tunic from Jules. I've had it for years. But yeah, it's a good size. It's nice and kind of loose. Graham done this weekend. He put my little uh, macrame hanging thing up to this weekend. I'm really happy with it. All of the planters are from Ikea. Also the light here, I need to get uh, like one of those really cool filament bulbs. I've just put a tiny one in there to start with, just to see what I needed. But um, yeah, oh, and that is from Matala. I'm happy with how it's looking. I've put my other macrame over there. I'm still obviously waiting for my headboard, but yeah, it's feeling more kind of like it's coming together, you know, of like my visions. This is doing Violet's hair. Violet, you know how long you've got left till Easter? How many? Three weeks. Oh. What do you mean? Oh, three weeks and they are off for two weeks again for Easter. Oh. I know. It will go quick though. It always goes so quick. Think how quick three weeks has gone. <laughs> right. You need to do your teeth, face. Feed Mr. Peter Rabbit. Mm. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? Look at your ears. He's so cute. Didn't like the wet weather though, did you? And the wind. We literally had to tie his whole like, put like boards around and like really tie it down to make sure his cover didn't come off. And so it's a little bit later now. It's actually half past 10. I have my nails done. Very similar actually to what I already had. I don't know why I always end up doing that. It's kind of a little bit more movie though, so if you can tell. Um, yeah, I've actually, obviously I need to go food shopping. Um, I did ring the doctor, I managed to get an appointment for Wednesday. I finished at work at five and I managed to arrange an appointment for 20 past five. So it isn't too bad. I'm just gonna have to like bomb it after work um, to the doctors. Literally, they had nothing else this week and I was just so frustrated. Like, how can you not have any other appointments? Like literally, the only other appointment they had was at like, uh 255 on that wednesday as well and obviously i'm working and it would be right on school run anyway but um yeah i've managed to book an appointment thankfully to see if i can sort something out for my migraines um i have just come to bnm i thought i'd have a quick browse because i haven't been here in ages and then i'm going to head off um to do obviously a bit of food shopping after you can see this bnm is huge in salisbury remembers good old pop tarts i still love those ones 
years ago when I was at school. Absolutely love fig rolls. It's one thing I haven't bought in a long time. Quite a large baby section. It actually doesn't feel very quite real, do you know what I mean? Looking at baby stuff because I'm at Tesco, it's a pretty big one, so I'm gonna have a good browse and also do the food shop while I'm here. I never shop in Tesco, so it'd be nice for a change. Hands out, they were literally on the track a minute ago. Can you see them all? Hello. We let them out yesterday because it's getting better, the weather, obviously. I'm home. I feel knackered. I feel absolutely exhausted. I feel like I could do with a nap already. Um, what's the time? It's like half past 12. I'll show you my food shop like I did last week. It's quite a small shop. I, or what should I say, Graham won £30 on the lottery, so that went towards the food shop, which is always good. I spent about £41. Um, yeah, and I got a couple of extra things. So I got quite a few cards. It's Mother's Mother's Day, obviously, and then it's actually my mum's birthday. Uh, what's it? Tom is it tomorrow? I think it might be tomorrow. It's the 19th. Um, I got Alistair the 9 to 12 years toothpaste. He hasn't had this one before. I'm hoping he's going to like it because my kids are really fussy with their toothpaste. Um, got some crumpets. I got this lovely fruit loaf. So I got the one last week, which was their sort of like... Um, Easter one and I couldn't find that one but this is practically the same thing it's still by Warburton's um, so I love that in the morning toasted just some wholemeal I really needed a new ironing board cover and I saw this actually which is my size as well um, in the clearance for three pounds so I thought I would get that it's like a flamingo one I got some flash bleach that was a pound some skimmed some soya um, some ketchup I really wanted some hummus and for some reason I just couldn't find it and then I couldn't be bothered to go back like and just keep looking so I ended up I was in the I was in the aisle where the chickpeas were so I thought right I'll just buy some chickpeas they were two for a pound I'm gonna make my own um I got some sweet corn and then I got some yogurts for the children so they got the fromage fromage fray four pouches these are ones that Alistair can take to school I got these ones berry medley I haven't seen those before and then I got some chocolate mousses, which I know Violet won't eat, but Graham and Alistair will, so they will love those. My favourite at the moment is, I need a glass of this, I'm just like craving it already, orange juice with bits, and they do two for two pounds, and I thought I would actually go for something different. I just, I saw the pineapple juice, and I thought, ooh, that sounds good. So I got those two for two pounds. Sausage rolls were on offer for a pound. They were a pound each, so I got two boxes of those. Again, great for after school snacks and pat lunches. Some kale, some spinach, some clover because we've run out, some sweet peppers. Yeah, I'm thinking like hummus and sweet peppers, yum. Um, strawberries really aren't in season, but I saw this really big pack and they just look really good. I mean, they're from Spain, so they probably will taste better. Um, but they were £3 and then I got some blueberries. They are giant. Uh, baking potatoes, um, I need some breakfast for myself, like something different, I keep like eating the same thing. Honey and almond granola, that was £1.20. Some carrots, broccoli, some like mixed lettuce leaves and then I got two lots of Tesco's own sort of crisps, beef and onion, roast chicken, smoky bacon and then the multi-grain sweet chilli waves. So that is my food haul for this week. Here's what I got from the M. So it's Violet's friend's birthday on Friday. She's going straight to her house after school. So I got these two things. It's like a little squishy notepad thing. And then also one of these no so uh, cupcake cushions. So Violet had a, she's got, still got it, a um, unicorn one. She loved it. You just basically just like use this tool and put all the fabric bits in. It just takes time, but it's really, really good. So that was 4 dollars $3.99. I already got her a card. Tomorrow it's something exciting. We are going to see George Ezra as a family. Graham actually got the tickets October time maybe and it's tomorrow so we're going literally from school run straight up to the O2. We're gonna have dinner there and then spend the evening obviously watching George Ezra and whoever his support band is. I'm not really sure who it is but I thought I would get some car snacks. So I got these mint crumbles which I've never tried before. Um, they didn't have my favourites or anything, so I just went for other things. These are like the Easter ones. Went for the uh, drum chick squishies and the jelly bunny babies. Doing my favourite PG tips for £3.50 for 240 which 
I think is really, really good. Like, um, I might be going to Costco on Wednesday, but I actually don't think that matches the price. And I got some jelly. The kids say that they had jelly at Nana's all the time. I can never seem to make it perfect. Uh, or I just forget about it. So I thought these were just good. These were a pound for six and they're already done. And then I got the Lucky Box Strawberry Banana Forest Fruit Flavor. These are those uh, milk straws. The kids really like these, but the this is kind of a unicorn version. So I got that. Mini marshmallows, they were 30p. Some of these fig rolls. I think the kids like those as well. And then I got some mug shots. These were four for a pound. When I was really poorly, these were something that I could have, keep me warm and just fill me up while I was poorly through the last few weeks. And I actually really liked them. So I thought I would get them. They're good for going to work as well. So I got this one, the bolognese one. I got the cheese, chicken and the sweet and sour. I think it's about two o'clock. Uh, I had lunch with Gray and then he went off back to work. I decided to watch one more episode of Dare to Jump, one episode. I think I've got three three to go. I think there's only eight. I just watched episode five. I was a little bit bored. I suppose it's just more background stuff about him. But a bit of a psycho, you know. Uh, just walking the dogs quick. Getting them some fresh air. He sits nice and dry. He's in the lemmies. Come here, that boy. <laughs> Jeez, they went rest. <laughs> Crazy. It's got a big girl bike with gears. Ooh! Hey everybody, I hope you're well. It's Tuesday, I just popped up my TTC video. I really hope you enjoy it. Um, I kind of obviously did the whole TTC with Violet. I think it's all private now, but I wanted to do it and obviously I wanted to kind of like bring you up to date with like how I was feeling at the time, my process of like having my coil out, um, and obviously first reactions of getting the faintest line um, it was so emotional, it was actually Oswald just watching it back it's just so emotional, like how you feel when you first get that test um, it's highs and lows isn't it because it's like a release that your your body's working right you feel privileged to be pregnant and you're like wow and then it's like a shock of like oh beep <laughs> This is real, you know. Just got some diesel. Obviously, took the kids to school. I am kind of in one of those self self service jet wash thingies, and I'm just gonna spray down the car a little bit because it's a bit of a mess, and it's supposed to be dry for the next week. So it's, I've got bird poo and all sorts on my car. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to the bottle bank and the clothing bins today. <laughs> be fine back yeah little pickles have gone has gone off because we found a lump on the back of his neck i think it was friday uh last week and we've never ever noticed it before i mean he is getting a little bit old he's 11 now um he definitely is acting and looking a bit older you know recently fingers crossed it's nothing we hope um but yeah graham's just taking him to the vet to just see what it is really see if they can find out it might just be just a skin tag or something because he's got a few weird little skin tags anyway i've got quite a lot of energy today which is good but as i mentioned yesterday we're going to see george ezra tonight it's going to be a really late long night graham's obviously doing the driving but yeah i think it's probably going to really hit me tomorrow thankfully it's my day off tomorrow um i do have a couple things planned but yeah let's get this workout done and then i think i'm going to sit and watch dirty john Cause oh, you're a rise, a good boy. Just assist. Did you? I'm done. A bit sweaty. It's ten to ten. Pickles is good, which I'm so relieved about. It was just assist that he uh, drained, so it's all good, which is relief. I have had a shower. I watched. I just finished last. Well, the seventh episode of Dirty John. I've got one more left. It's getting so good. Although I cannot stand that woman. How many people are watching this and cannot stand her? She just needs to grow a backbone. She's so placid and irritating. Oh my God. Um, yeah, I've folded some washing. I've just done, I've been pottering around the house really. I had a shower because I was feeling super cold. 
Um, I'm just waiting for Graham. It's quarter to twelve. I've got to leave for work for one because I've got PT. So um, I do that for an hour, obviously. And then it'd be time to pick up the kids, get back, and then get them excited and ready for George Ezra. They have no idea. Here's some hummus. Oh my God, it tastes so good. I've not made hummus in ages. So these are my ingredients. I use rapeseed oil, a little square of lemon, obviously can chickpeas without the water, drain them. Some garlic and some salt. And obviously I didn't have any tahini, so that didn't go in, but it tastes really good, especially with the garlic. We are en route, we're on the M3. What, who are we going to see, kids? George Are you excited? Yep. Yeah? Are you excited, Violet? Tired. You can have a little nap though, can't you? She's exhausted from school today. Yeah, we're just munching on Harry Bow. Enjoying the lovely view of the weather. Look at that. Raining. Finally arrived. The O2. Are you excited, everybody? Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some food. And actually, we've been in the car for three hours, so we all need a wee, as you can imagine. <laughs> Wow, it's been three. <laughs> it's been busy. Excuse the hair, I've just put some dry shampoo in. I kind of don't really want to wash it today, I want to wash it tomorrow. Um, we're just getting ready for school, it's 20 past seven. It's Thursday, I, um, <laughs> we obviously went to the George Ezra concert on Tuesday, got back at 1.30 a.m. And um, as you can imagine, Wednesday, I was well yesterday I was pretty exhausted. I was actually supposed to see my mum and I felt really guilty because it was her birthday on Tuesday. but. She obviously understood that I was just so tired. I actually, um, when we got back, obviously went to bed, but I had boot camp yesterday morning, so I was up at 5.30. So um, yeah, basically I did boot camp, took the kids to school, and then went back to bed as soon as I got back. Um, and I think I slept from about, I don't know, nine o'clock till about 12.30. And then I had work, I did a few hours at work, Got her, well actually no, I finished at five and then I think I mentioned I had a doctor's appointment uh, booked in for 5.16. I got in straight away which was amazing. I didn't even have to sit down, I literally just like put myself in and he was there which was perfect. Um, yeah, I have some really good news about my <laughs> doctor. Thankfully I found something that I can take uh, for my migraines. Basically, um, long story short, I'll probably go more in depth um, and talk about it in my like pregnancy update. But basically, the tablet that I usually take, the 100 milligram, I can't remember what it's called, I'll try and leave it up here, begins with an S, um, he said is fine to take while pregnant. My midwife didn't know, she said, she, she said it was inconclusive, she was unsure, but obviously anything that I take is very last minute, it's never like something that I take very often or frequent, and he basically gave me the lower dose, the 50 milligrams, just to have something as a backup. Um, so I was really relieved at that. I need to pick up my prescription today. And he also gave me like an anti-sickness tablet because obviously, although I, I get headaches and then it moves on to a migraine, I still get really, really sick. And it would be good to have something as an option, even if I don't want to take that strong tablet. So um, yeah, I'm picking up my prescription today. I just feel a little bit like relieved that I have a backup plan. Yeah, George Ezra was incredible. I would highly recommend going if you love him. We as a family really enjoy his music and that's why we thought it would be 
the kids like first concert we thought they'd love it they like absolutely loved it they were so into it because all his songs are just really current and we've been playing the album over and over anyway um but yeah i would recommend seeing him sigrid actually was the um support act she was really good oh my god she was so good i forgot i didn't realize who she was until she started playing songs and i was like oh my god i know that song and the kids knew the songs as well but yeah the show only went on till uh half past 10 so it wasn't too late i think if it was any later it would have been harder like for the children to stay awake and stuff like that but yeah they were buzzing we were all buzzing today i am seeing my mum obviously i couldn't see her yesterday so i said we're going to costco today I've got a list of things that I literally need to stock up on. And um, yeah, I haven't been there for quite a while, so it'd be nice to have a bit of a browse. Probably will get lunch there. I'm really, really, really fancy pepperoni pizza. So I think that's what I might have for lunch. My outfit, so this is a top from Next. It's not maternity or anything. Um, so I find Next clothes just such weird cut, honestly. So the arms are quite, I'd say, are quite, like tight like quite slim I've got skinny arms anyway but like I don't know um and the top half is always a little bit loose and then you've got this weird little see the way they've kind of put this seam in here I mean it works fine for me I went up a size because obviously I knew that I obviously will get a baby bump at some point <laughs> I'm 15 weeks one day I really don't have much do I um but yeah my jeggings are the ones from Primark these are the bigger size and I'm gonna wear my, you can see, my silver converse. We are in Costco, we're in the fresh section. Mm, this is what I picked up so far. This massive play area thing. Got all their summer bits out, haven't they? The tree house. We need one of those. Giant unicorn. These like healthy slash not healthy. Coconut clusters. Sea, oh my God, look at those. Caramel pretzel treats, they're definitely not healthy. Pistachio squares, almond crunch. These ones. Seen these last year, 48 for 15 pounds. Oh, look. Last year actually as well. These mixed ones, they just don't last though. Actually, I think it's those ones. Happy now I've got my pizza. And mum got randomly two hot cross buns. <laughs> My orange. Have one of them <laughs> what after that? One. Okay, I am back home. It is 25 to 1. We had a bit of an early lunch there, obviously. I got my slice of pizza that I wanted. Um, yeah, I didn't actually get a massive amount, but I got what I needed really, and then obviously some extras. Um, so yeah, I went in for per seal non bio. I've run out. The two pack is like under 12 pounds, I think it's like 11 pounds something, which I think is pretty good. It's a 57 wash. Uh, I got some to tin tomatoes, which again, I've only got one tin left. I use these all the time. Got a big pack of those. I got these as an extra. These are £2.90, I think, or 97 Uh The sweet potato chips, massive bag. I thought it was just something different to try. I haven't seen those before. Um, mango slices, I absolutely love these, so I got those. I actually am desperate for to try them now. Two lots of the Cathedral City. Um, I've bought these before, sweet potato pakora with red pepper. I've had these before, they're really, really nice. There's like a, a lunch snack with a bit of hummus or uh, weekends. I think we, I've got some more marmalade. We've literally run out and we had a massive one last time. It lasts us ages. Graham and the kids love this as well. Uh, I've got some ham. I can't remember how much this was, but it's really nice. That's sort of like gammony carved ham. A uh, big pack of blueberries, icing sugar, this massive one, three kilo was £2.49. I use this a lot when I do I get my bake on through the week, weekend. So I use that a lot and I've run out. Um, I got the kids some of these. See, I have seen these in Costco for years and I've just never bought them for the kids. I'm just, you know, we're just unsure whether they like them or not. But we've been having the jelly ones recently, the ones from um, Holland and Barrett. They're literally, the kids are completely out now. So I thought I would just try with these. I think they're gonna be fine. So these are the multivitamin, and then this one is the calcium and vitamin D. Um, yeah, they are 12 pounds each, and you get 200 gummies in this one, and 275 gummies in that one. Um, chocolate chip brioche rolls, these are about three pounds, and um, 
fresh free range eggs, no palm oil. And they are individually wrapped. They're great for snacking on the go, lunch boxes. Graham likes to take them out in the morning sometimes. And then I got the Fairy Platinum. These are my ultimate favorite dishwasher tablets. However, apparently this is the new version, mum said, with the extra color here. Um, this is the only pack they actually had in. Uh, I think this was 12 pounds for the 105. And yeah, I can't recommend these enough if you've got a dishwasher and use it quite a lot. These are really, really good. Make everything super shiny and clean. And then lastly, I got this really nice throw. We've got a gray one of these. It's not um, kind of like chevron like this, but we've got a gray throw from there from years ago. And this is only nine pounds. It's massive. It's really super soft. And I thought, oh, I feel knackered. It's one o'clock. I had some mango. I had a drink. I felt really, really thirsty. It's one thing I've noticed since pregnancy, I'm so thirsty all the time. Like I'm drinking a lot through the night. Obviously peeing through the night as well, which is not great. Um, yeah, I've got like an empty box here. I think I'm gonna just, I need to sort out this corner. I just wanna start like kind of getting stuff a little bit more organized. It's way better in here than what it was. I'm trying to envision, because obviously this is potentially gonna be the nursery, but Clearly, we're not going to be getting the office stuff out of here anytime soon. I just don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know what we're going to do with the office stuff. I, I said to Grey, it's, going, it's probably going to be half office, half nursery for maybe the first two years, which I know might sound a bit crazy to some people. It doesn't seem sound crazy to me because I have, a lot of the time, the baby will be with us in the room for at least six months. Violet did, uh, I think Alistair and Violet both moved into their cot about six months. Um, but I mean, half the time, and we're all, all on one level anyway, so half the time the belly in their rooms, and obviously being so little, they're not really gonna be in their rooms apart from sleeping, so it's not a big deal. I just need to get more organized so it can feel a bit more like a nursery and we have space for obviously a cot, because <laughs> at the moment we just don't. Kind of sort out, I've got loads of like, stuff down here that I need to organize I want to there's a bit obviously a bit of a gap there so I might shuffle this up like move all this up we're gonna try and discuss about storage I'm not sure if I'm even gonna need this shelf here I might need to organize it a bit more and I might be able to get this stuff off the shelf because to be honest half the stuff I barely use on it um and then this obviously unit is going to be handy for lots of things I've obviously got those crates previously so, um, and that was in Violet's room, so we haven't bought it or anything. So I've been a bit of a busy bee, but it doesn't feel like I've done a massive amount in here, but I, I feel like I've kind of organized it a little bit more. There's still stuff that I need to just get rid of out of this room. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll, sh I'll just give you an overview. We've got space. I ended up putting this little uh, thing over here. Um, and then obviously the paints, this stuff will go um this unit I need to just organize and I was thinking about um maybe just putting a changing tape changing mat on top and using that as like a changing station I mean I've got all these boxes here as well um just so I won't have to move that um yeah so all this is going to go that's going to go that's just a bag of stuff no idea where the rail's going to go um and I've shuffled this up a bit so there's not a gap there anymore and that's just moved up and then I moved that a little bit. I had to move my clock as well because it was originally there. Um, and then it's just brought up this space, the door. <laughs> Graham still hasn't put that door on. I think I'm gonna paint it actually even before he puts it up because I think it would be a lot easier. Um, but yeah, I once all that stuff's out, cot I think could probably go there. If we just get a standard cot, not like a toddler bed or anything potentially could go there. I was considering moving this over there, but I'm not sure if it will fit or if it will look right and then put the cot over here. I don't know. I have no idea. As you can see, it's pretty still overcrowded, but we've got plenty of time to even think about buying anything. Um, but yeah, it just feels nice just to have a little idea of future plans for that room. It definitely needs a fresh lick of paint in there. Uh, the radiator is so yellow. I don't even know why it's yellow, but it is it's just horrible. It's really yellow. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, I've got to go get the kids. It's already quarter to three. It's back home, just come to see the girls and I'm gonna walk the doggies. It's really nice and mild today. The boot camp stuff. Oh, I cannot wait to start doing it back outside. I was actually considering, if it's dry next week, considering doing it outside for the three mornings. It's like this, because it's light enough. It's just where the, where the ground's pretty, it feels pretty firm. Be so good. I really haven't felt pregnant at all today. It's really weird. I go through phases, like some days I feel so pregnant, like I'm so heavy and bloated and like emotional and just tired. But today, I think I probably felt a bit more like that yesterday because obviously I was quite drained. But it was from obviously the late night. But today I just don't feel pregnant at all and I'm like moving stuff and lifting stuff and I just forget. I have to be like, whoa, I'm not sure I should actually be doing this. Take it a bit more easy, but I just, yeah. Don't feel pregnant at all today. It's, it's quite nice, I'm not gonna lie. It's quite nice just to feel quite like myself. Um, and everyone in school and kids looking at me like I should have a big belly and I just don't really have a belly at all really. But hey ho, it will come. And then I'll be moaning about it because it will be heavy. <laughs> the pigs. Oh, he's got a few piglets there, as you can see. These are where all the mummies are. And then we've just got... Wiggy is out there somewhere. Actually, I think that's Wiggy. Oh, out there. Good boy. Where's Donk? Yeah, there's Wig. Oh, hello. Oh, no, it's not Wig. The, that's the boar. He looks pretty much identical. He's a bit smaller, though. She's got um, half an ear. That's why I just realised it's not her. He's got one half ear. What are you donk? Hey, where is he? Where's that donk? He always buggers off, honestly. Hey, back up, back up. Donko. Donko, he does it every time. He just leaves it. He always gets two, doesn't he? Greedy guts. Whoa. Hello. Gorgeous girl. Yeah. These two are slimming down, aren't you? You're on a diet. They're literally, they're on diets. These are slimming down, these girls, aren't you? So badly. That's why they're enclosed over here at the moment. Got anything? You're on diets. I can't, can't give you anything. Hmm? Just so greedy, aren't you? Fan's not as bad. It's just Bo, she just, honestly, she'll just eat and eat and eat and eat and eat. She <laughs> doesn't know when to stop this girl. <sighs> Look at that booty. <laughs> See you later, girls. It's time for a cup of tea. I haven't had one all day and I really fancy one now. I always get that urge. It's weird because I always used to be a morning person, like, to put my cup of tea or my coffee. I, mean, I didn't even have a coffee. Let's go. Because... Someone's raving it up in there. <laughs> He's got music taste like his dad. Pure raver. You like dealing with a teenager. I'm like, turn it down or I'm turning it off. <laughs> yeah, so as I was saying, I'm just, I'm just, just don't fancy the hot drinks in the morning at the moment. And obviously I haven't had coffee for about two months, I reckon. At least quite in the early stages of pregnancy. But, um, mm, I keep looking at this chocolate cake. Violet just had a slice. It's like 10 to 4. Do I have it now or do I wait till after dinner? Made a chocolate cake. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. This amazing chocolate cake on Sunday. This is literally what we have left, which is actually quite a lot for like four days worth. I am just about to crack on with dinner. I'm doing bolognese for dinner. Garlic bread. I don't know if I've got any spaghetti, so I might just use some sort of whole wheat pasta. i tell you what happened yesterday. So obviously I worked till late and didn't get home till like near a six. And I said to Grey, I was going to do bolognese. I said, oh, I'll just do bolognese when I get home because it's quite a quick dinner, isn't it? It takes about half an hour, really, if you think about it, from start to finish. And um, came home, literally, Graham was cooking a roast dinner, like a full-on roast. We had, like, roast potatoes and lovely um, pork shoulder. Oh, my God, I was, like, so surprised. Like, he can cook and 
and I just I feel like I, it's not that like I never let him it's I suppose it's I'm always home so I do all the cooking so actually it was really nice for him to just surprise me and I, I come home and like he was like just just chill out and I literally just chilled out and he cooked this lovely dinner it was just lovely Since using, I've been using the um, charcoal, ooh, carbon therapy, um, the carbon therapy charcoal tea tree bar for like getting on two weeks now. I've noticed mass improvements in my skin. It's hard to show, but just the redness and less breakouts generally. Yeah, so I'm gonna wash my face. Alistair's gonna get in the shower. You can kind of feel the bubbly, I think it might be the tea tree bits, I don't know, but you can feel like bubbly bits. See, it doesn't super lather up. See, the redness. Fingers crossed. I'm hoping this is because of this bar. There, just wipe it off. Again, what I've been loving, which I really need to buy a full size of. I've had a couple of these little Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Maybe you can see it. Come on. Um, little sample sizes. These are like seven mil. You need the tiniest amount, but I absolutely love it. It smells incredible. It feels incredible. It doesn't like leave any sort of like residue or anything. I use like the tiniest amount and just literally just rub it into my face and that's all I do for the evenings, that's all I've been doing. Cute. Where's your, I keep saying to you, where's your jacket? You've got your badge on. Mm -hmm. Get my jacket on. Okay, it's a little. My hair's pulling. I know, do you want me to sort it out? Gappy, you got a pound, did you get a pound this morning? Mm -hmm. On the tooth fairy? I didn't get one this today. I got one. I think it was today. When did my tooth came out? I can't remember. I think it came out Tuesday, but obviously the tooth fairy couldn't come on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. Because... It's because it was really late, and I know who took the tooth yeah. Who? Today. Who took it? The man. Mr. Tooth Fairy. No, Mr. Man Tooth Fairy. Oh, okay. I think everybody came to the realisation last night of editing this video and was like... Already over 40 minutes. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to narrow it down, not do too too much talking today. I'm just in the studio, I'm gonna do a quick workout. Do some cleaning today. I wanna to do floors, lounge, and family bathroom mainly. Um and oh I'm getting my eyelashes done at 10.45. It's been three weeks. They're looking pretty rough actually, mainly because obviously having really bad migraines last week, you kind of do a lot of eye rubbing, doing a lot of crying and obviously leaning on my eye. Pretty much it. By the time I get back it'll be lunchtime, pick up the kids 
And then Violet's got a birthday party. She's going straight from school to her friend's house, three till five. And we've got Alistair's parents' evening. And then I think I might even film a, like a second trimester workout. The one that I've been doing, I do it like three times a week. Obviously this week I've done it Monday, Tuesday and Friday. Sometimes I might do it on the weekend, just depends. But um, yeah, let me know if you wanna see that. It's generally a good workout. I mean, you can make it harder obviously with adding heavier weights. But I generally try and obviously not carry too heavy right now. But that's all I use, two kettlebells, dumbbells. You know what I was gonna ask? Has anyone got any tips on cleaning a sheep's skin rug? So usually, this is what I do, probably twice a year I would say. Usually what I would do, I'd put it in the bath. And don't ask me where I suddenly thought of this. But I put it in the bath, I got some baby shampoo. I think it's like the Johnson's like baby stuff. Um, I put a little bit of that with some warm water in there and then I literally, you know when people like the old school way of like making wine, you squash grapes with your feet, I basically do that, get in the bath and just give it a foot massage and just get all the grime out of it. Rinse it, for you a few, rinse it through a few times because it's quite manky a lot of the time. And then I've stuck it in some dry a couple of times, like on a really low, low heat, just to get most of the dampness out. And then I'll literally just hang it and brush it. If anyone else has got any other tips, let me know. It comes up really nice, but it's quite a long winded process. Um, and obviously the sheepskin smell is just not a nice smell when it's wet. All hetty out when um, I do the full work, so I'm doing the whole house. I find I think I was a bit kind of like keen on doing too much and I ended up obviously not fitting in the shower. It's really half past 10. I'm gonna have to go off to my appointment now. But I will shower and I need to clean the bathroom, but I've done all floors, which whew, took a while, but it's done. I am back from my eyelash appointment. Really happy with those. This I did start watering halfway through though. I don't know why. Got a new little friend for the weekend, which is great. Um, I'm just doing some lunch. I really want something quick, warm. So I'm gonna have one of these things. I can't remember what it is, but it's like a pasta thing. I'm gonna have what I got these yesterday, these uh, sweet potato pakoras, and then I've got some of the homemade hummus that I made the other day. That is pretty much gonna be my lunch for today. I just want something quick, and then I'm gonna hop in the shower. I feel super tired. I've been doing some washing. I also um, made pizza dough, which is in here. I do have a pizza dough recipe. If you um, looking to try a bit of homemade stuff, it's really easy. It's already quarter past two. Obviously you've got parents evening straight after school. So that's why I've put makeup on me as I look a bit more normal. Covered up this nice zit here. Um, I'm gonna quickly pop to co up because I also need to get a couple of bits for toppings. It's a bit later, I've had my dad round and we've been watching a film for ages. Obviously Violet's been at this party. So we're watching a film on Netflix that we just randomly put on and then I got to like, well, it's five o'clock and I was like, crap, I need to start on dinner. Violet will be back in a minute anyway. But obviously I'm doing pizza, so yeah, that's mine and Graham's base. We just do half and half and then obviously Alistair is obviously having dinner with us tonight. There we go, that is how the pizzas have turned out. I'm just gonna pop them in the oven. I'm really hoping Violet has eaten enough at the party. My kids are like the worst eaters when they go to parties. They just literally graze on a couple of things and then they just be off like playing and they just won't eat. I did say to her, this is your dinner. Just eat, please eat. It's that time of the week, shall I say, not day, the week. I've had this, I've actually had this bottle for two weeks. I'm hoping it's not gonna be flat. Love feel flat, Violet's got her dinner. She brought it home with her. Because <laughs> I didn't eat. Oh my god! So you did some cake decorating. So clearly that's not your dinner. Yeah. What did you have for dinner? I don't know where my dinner is. What did you have? Mm. Clearly she didn't eat anything. That's how pizza turned out. What are we watching, Alistair? There's so many things to watch on Netflix. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what about? Huh? I was just kidding. <laughs> we just watched the zookeeper. Really good, really funny. Wasn't it, Vi? It was really good. Kind of remind me of the night in the museum because the animals talked. Oh, 
is Violet's bell. <laughs> Daddy! Who needs to go brush their teeth? Um, not me. You do. Do you want another mm. wobbly tooth? Out here. Mm. You've eaten a lot of cake and uh -uh. sugar tonight. It is. Yeah. You can see it. You see it? Watch tonight. So we've got we've been watching Madeline McCann. The um, I know. We can documentary. Watch, this is really really good. Um, Express thirteen apps. But and we've already watched six episodes. The whole hour's long. PM. But I'm not watch cheat. I haven't watched that yet. Morning everybody. I realised I didn't end my video last night. I actually fell asleep at half past eight. Apparently, Graham said. <laughs> watching Madeline McCann. That sort of documentary. It's very long-winded. We're like episode six, and I think there's still more. It's an hour long. It's very, it's very long-winded, but it is good if you love a good documentary. Um, yeah, so I wanted to come on. I'm just having a lovely lay in. It's eight o'clock. Uh, I wanted to come on and say thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this week's weekly vlog. Let me know if you have. Don't forget to check out my new videos. I've got like three new videos up this week. Um, I've got some more, like, obviously, week-by-week week pregnancy related videos coming up for the rest of this week. Um, so I hope you enjoy those. And, yeah, have a great weekend, and I will see you all soon.